Hi everyone! In this video we will see the V-Ray material library that is introduced for the first time in V-Ray 5, more specifically the V-Ray asset browser and the presets in the V-Ray materials. So, if you have an older version of V-Ray, I advise you to upgrade since now we have some really cool new features. I have created a very simple scene. I have placed a V-Ray physical camera and a V-Ray sun. And I have applied in my scene a V-Ray material of a light grey color with a value of 235. Let's produce a render. Let's start with the curtain material. Go to the V-Ray toolbar and click on the V-Ray Asset Browser. If you don't see the V-Ray toolbar, just right-click on an empty spot up here and select the V-Ray toolbar. Click on the V-Ray Asset Browser. On the left side, we see a list of material categories like bricks, concrete, fabrics, and so on. And on the right side, we can see the preview of the materials each category includes. How do we use these materials? Let's push the V-Ray Asset Browser to the side and open the Material Editor. From the V-Ray Asset Browser, Go to Fabric for instance and let's select this curtain. Right click and choose Add to Scene. Instantly we can see this curtain material in the Material Editor. Let's assign it to our curtain. If it doesn't recognize the bitmaps and uh, you see them black, go to File, Reference, Asset Tracking and load them. If you don't know how to use Asset Tracking, please check the video I uploaded recently. I will also add the link to this video description. If you're not sure where these maps are located, simply type the name of your map in your computer's search bar and choose Open File Location. So this is the path you need to follow in Asset Tracking. Let's produce a render. We can fully modify this material, so let me go to the V-Ray Materials parameters and um, let's say increase the refraction by setting it to 95 to make our curtain more transparent. Moreover, we can change the texture by double-clicking on the V-Ray Bitmap tab, go to the parameters, click on the three dots and select another texture. Or we can disconnect the bitmap and simply make a white CR. You can now see how beautifully the sun comes through the CR. Let's follow the same steps to apply a carpet material. Open the V-Ray Asset Browser, select the carpet, right-click and choose Add to Scene. So, what do we see here? Every time we add a new material to the scene, it goes to the center of the active view in the Material Editor. So, be careful to first move your previous material to the side, otherwise they will go one on top of the other and you will get confused. 
If necessary, go to the asset tracking to load the textures. And hit the source edit material in viewport to see the preview of the material. Let's render. Let's now put a fabric on our sofa. The steps are the same as before. Let me open the material editor and push the carpet material to the side. To be honest, I personally prefer to delete the old materials, so I will select them and delete them. And if I ever need to adjust any of them, I will simply click the Pick Material from Object button and click on my material in the scene. Now we can see the carpet material in the material editor and we can modify it. This way you don't get confused and you only see the material you are working on. So, let me delete them and let's create a leather for our sofa. I will select this leather, apply it to my sofa and load the missing textures. I think it's looking beautiful. As I said before, we can replace the textures with any ones we want. So, especially if you're a beginner, this is a great starting point because you have pre-made materials and you can simply adjust them instead of creating them from scratch. I hope it's now clear how you can use the V-Ray Asset Browser, so let's now see the presets which are also a new addition in V-Ray 5. Go to the Material Editor and create a V-Ray Material. Go to the basic parameters rollout and you can see the preset setting here. Click on custom and select the finish you want from the drop down list. Let me choose a chrome finish for my floor lamp. Let's assign it and do a region render. Let me now switch to gold. And it's that easy. As I said for the asset uh, for the V-Ray Asset Browser, same goes for the presets. They both serve as a great starting point and you can then adjust the settings to fit your needs. Before I leave you, let me make a quick comment on my laptop. In every video you are asking me about my computer specifications. When I decided to start my YouTube channel, I went and bought a very, very basic laptop. These are the specifications. I did that because I wanted to be sure that anyone who would follow my videos would be able to recreate all my steps back at home, so all the videos I'm making are done with this laptop. I am not advising you to go and buy a similar laptop, but my point is that you don't have to spend a fortune to be able to do a rendering. 
Of course, once you decide that you want to do renderings for a living, it's good to go and buy a strong computer because it will save you lots of rendering time and you will be able to meet tight deadlines. That's all. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in my next video.